Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. Happy holidays, everybody. Believe it or not, the season is here. Our wish lists are growing and we are starting to do our holiday shopping. So I wanted to do something for all of us sewists out there and maybe more importantly, the friends and families of those of us that sew. If you don't do what we do every day, it can be very daunting and overwhelming to know what to get somebody who sews. So I have put together a gift guide for anyone who sews. There are gonna be 10 different products in today's video, all of which are some of my absolute favorite things that I use all the time whenever I'm sewing. So if you are a sewist, I need you to click the little share button below the video player and share this video with all of your friends and family so that they know what to get you. Think of it as a fun little video registry. <laughs> and if you are one of those family members, one of those friends, one of those loved ones who received this video from someone, welcome. My name is Lindsay. I'm responsible for some of the purchases your loved one has made, probably. Sorry, not sorry. Um, but I'm going to be sharing with you some of the things that I know the sewist in your family is going to want and then love. So let's get started with our very first product. All right, number one on my list is a Seamwork Magazine membership. Seamwork is a really cool online magazine that in addition to the magazine content they send out every month, they also send you one or two patterns depending on the membership level that you choose. They are a grow as you sew kind of a pattern company. In addition to the straightforward patterns that you get every single month with the magazine, you also get pattern hacks, sewing tips, styling ideas, and bonus variations to help spark your creativity. The patterns really are just kind of like a base plate of just where you can start with them. And the limit is your creativity as to what you can do with them. The patterns are perfect for the new sewist who's just getting started and needs some easy, versatile patterns. And certainly is also great for someone like me who sews all the time and just needs kind of like a jumping off point for their creativity and the garments that they want to make. In addition to the online magazine, they also have a very positive, friendly online community that you can join and comment, share, commiserate with other sewists about the patterns and about the magazine. So they've made it really easy for you to give Seamwork as a gift. They actually have a gift membership program. It's all 12 months of the premium membership, which includes two patterns every month, including the entire magazine that I mentioned has all those tips, tricks, hacks, and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, normally a 12 month premium membership is $108. They discount it for you to $90. So Seamwork Magazine and this 12 month premium membership really is the gift that is going to keep on giving month after month. Your recipient is going to be reminded of how awesome this gift is and how much they love you and adore you. <laughs> okay, next up on my list is Kai Scissors 5045 rotary cutter. If you have been watching my channel for a little while, you know I've been talking about this a ton lately. I have tried a gajillion different rotary cutters. It feels like I couldn't get half of them to work at all. And this was the very first one that I ever got to work and really, really loved. So some cool things about this specific rotary cutter are that on the back side, they have a little dial that you can switch from soft to regular to hard depending on the thickness of your fabric and how weighty your fabric is something for like a lightweight lining or rayon chalet you can use the soft setting for something like denim or home deck fabric you can use the hard setting for and that really just takes a lot of the pressure off of your wrist 
Um, so you're not having to really push down on the rotary cutter. It's doing a lot of that work for you. It's also really safe because no matter what, if you are not pressing this down on something, then the safety guard, the black shield, is always engaged. It doesn't ever come unengaged until you press down and start to use the rotary cutter. In addition to that, there's also three different blades that you can purchase. So it comes with your regular blade that's just gonna cut a straight line. You can also get the wave blade, which looks like this, and it cuts, as you would imagine, your fabric into a wave. So the wave blade is a lot of fun. Then they also have the pinking blade. And pinking a blade, shears, rotary cutter, whatever it is, um, is going to cut little zigzags into your fabric. And that's gonna prevent woven fabric from fraying and coming undone. I am recommending specifically the 5045 rotary cutter, but they also have just amazing, amazing scissors. All of their products are really, really awesome. So that's number two. Okay, so third thing on my holiday gift guide list is the Oliso Mini Iron. This little bad boy just came out this year, I want to say in July, not too, too long ago, and is the miniature companion to the Oliso TG Home Irons, the standard size that you guys are all used to. So I chose the mini iron because honestly, this little guy works really well. I'm not kidding. Um, it may be small, but it has a steam function that is just as powerful as the full size iron. The sole plate gets really, really hot and, and even heat, uh, just like a full size iron, except it comes in this cute little mini version. So I love to use this mini iron on smaller pieces. So if I'm working on a neckline facing, if I'm working on a waistband, if I'm working on pockets, something where the piece is super, super small. This is great because you're, it's not as cumbersome. You're not like trying to get this big, huge thing into this little teeny tiny area. It's little on little, which gives you a lot more control and makes the results of whatever it is that you're pressing come out a lot better. This works really great along with a tailor's ham. You know, you're trying to get a uh, curve pressed and you know, the bigger irons going over that kind of small tailor's ham can be a little bit cumbersome, but this little guy handles it with like a breeze and handles it really well with the steam and the heat. So I absolutely love this guy. The price point on it is just right as well. It's under a hundred dollars for a really, really powerful iron that you can use at home or on the go. If you are going to a quilting guild or a sewing club and you're bringing all of your supplies with you, grab this little guy. It's going to make easy, easy work of traveling with it and will also do a great job on your projects while you are where you're going. So, okay, moving right along, the next item on the gift guide for sewist is the Vogue Fabrics Swatch Catalog. The Swatch Catalog is exactly what you think it is. It is a magazine style format of fabrics with actual swatches and a fun little description, a fun little story kind of tying in the various collections that are included in the catalog. It's a fun read, which is kind of ironic when you're thinking that it's just fabrics, but um, it's really fun and imaginative and they do a really, really great job of coming up with fabrics that pertain to the various seasons. So they have six catalogs that come out every year. They have one for every season spring, summer, winter, fall, and then two transitional catalogs as well. So the fabrics inside will pertain to that season. When it's springtime and you're getting your spring catalog, you're gonna be getting fabrics that you're going to want to sew with in the spring. So they make really, really easy work of not only picking fabrics that you are going to want to sew right then and there, but also educating you on the fabrics. It is very invaluable to be able to say, to open up your catalog and say, 
Oh, I really like this. What is that? You can touch it, you can feel it, and then you can learn, oh, this is stretch corduroy. Now I know what stretch corduroy looks like, what it feels like. Um, it's really great to be able to shop for fabric online while having more confidence in what you're sewing, what you're shopping for because you're able to touch, feel, and learn about the fabric before you purchase it. And then once you become a member, uh, the fabrics are exclusive to members for the first few weeks that they are available, which is also really nice because you don't have to worry about things selling out super fast. You not be able to get what you love about the love inside the catalog. Um, you get your first chance at that. So Vogue Fabrics Swatch Catalog is the next thing on my list. Okay, next up is something called a Taylor's Clapper. <laughs> it's got a really funny name, but it is a workhorse in your sewing room. So the Taylor's Clapper in its basic form is a piece of raw wood. And when you were at your ironing board pressing and steaming some fabrics, don't always want to be pressed. The natural wood absorbs the steam while keeping in the heat. So it's a little bit of science, but this works really well on finicky fabrics. It works really well on bulky seams. Like if you're working on denim, for example, or like the corners of a lapel or a collar, any of those areas that are just a little bit trickier to get super, super flat, your Taylor's Clapper is going to fix that for you. Now, I'm specifically recommending the Cottage Lane Taylor's Clapper. This is like a supercharged Taylor's Clapper because not only does it do everything that I just said, but it also has a little ruler on the side, which is nice if you're like adding trim or you just need to measure something a little bit small while you're at your uh, ironing board, you can do that. And the really cool part is it has a pin cushion right on top. So a lot of times you're sewing, you're using pins to hold things together, you bring it over to your ironing board and you're pressing as you're removing those pins. Well, where do those pins go? Now you have a pin cushion right by you um, that you can use while you're using your Taylor's Clapper. This pin cushion is removable, so you can recover this if you want. Uh, you can replace it if you want. Uh, you can do whatever you want. This is what it looks like without it. So you could also think of this as just like a little tray. I don't know. Use it however you like. I just wanted to point out that the pin cushion does come undone. So Cottage Lane Taylor's Clapper is the next item on my list. Okay, so the next item is for those of us with a serger. There might also be some people who are asking for a serger, adding that to their wish list for this year. And before you ask me in the comments section below, I have a Brother 1034D, the basic, basic serger that you can get from Brother. I've had it. It's the only one I've ever had. I love it. It works great. So that is not on my list, but if you're wondering, that's the one that I have. That's the one that I recommend. That's the one that I use and love. But this next product that is on my list it works with your serger projects. So as you are serging, when you get to the end of your seam, you keep your you keep serging so that you have this long tail at the end of your seam that you just serged. And there's a lot of controversy about people who just snip that little tail off. Those serger threads could come unraveled and could come undone technically over time with watching, washing and wearing and all of that. So this little guy makes super, super quick work of dealing with that in the way that you're supposed to. And it is called the Lil Hooky Serger Seam Hook. And it's got a funny name, but it really, really works. So basically you take this pointy end you push it through the last few of your serger, serger stitches. You hook on the tail to the end and you pull it back through. So your serger tail is not cut off at the end, but rather pulled back through the serger stitches, tucked in place, 
within those searcher stitches and then you trim off the end um, there and that way there are no you know clipped off threads at the end of anything it's all tidy and professional and exactly the way that it's supposed to be handled so this little hooky <laughs> serger seam hook is available from Nancy's Notions. Nancy's Notions has a ton of really cool, really fun products that I use in my uh, sewing room all the time. So be sure to check out their website uh, to see just the myriad of things that they offer. It really is a go-to place for a variety of fun little products like this, but also things that you absolutely need in your sewing room. I think one of the best parts about the little hooky, it, I'm sorry, the Lil hooky <laughs> is that it's so affordable. This is the most affordable thing on my list. It is $7. It would be great as a little stocking stuffer. If you're doing a sewing friends, uh, like gift exchange or like a white elephant, I guarantee you this is the one people are going to be trading for all night long, hoping and praying that they end up with it at the end. Um, at just, I think around seven or eight dollars, this little guy is really great, really fun, and very, very practical, uh, which is the best of all the worlds when it comes to gifts. May not be something someone's like putting on their list by name. Well, maybe after they watch this video, they will, but normally not something that they're saying, I really need a serger hook. But when you give it to them, they're like, this is something that I didn't know I needed. And to me, those make the best gifts. Okay, and speaking of products that you definitely need, but you may not know that you need, my next uh, gift idea comes from Stitch Buzz. Stitch Buzz makes uh, various acrylic rulers. They have an awesome collection of different rulers and tools that you can use at your cutting table. And so I picked my favorite of all of them, and that is the 12-inch Curb Runner. So this little guy is basically like a pizza cutter wheel. This little thing spins and all along it are uh, measurements. They have all the measurements broken down into sixteenths of an inch uh, and then special markings for quarter of an inch, half an inch, and then your one inch marks. You would use this when you're trying to measure the length of a curve, basically. And that happens a lot whenever you're doing pattern alterations. Basically, you put the edge of the pattern or the fabric on the zero mark, and then you measure, measure, measure all the way around until you've gotten to the end um, of whatever it is that you're measuring. The other ways of measuring on a curve are no fun and not that accurate. <laughs> so this makes very, very fast work, but also uh, accurate work of measuring on a curve. And if you find yourself doing that a lot in your sewing room, then this is going to be something that you're going to reach for a lot. For me, I don't necessarily, I don't use it for every project, for example, but when I do come across something that I need to measure on a curve, I am so thankful that I have this. If the curve runner is not for you, check out the sleeve placket template, the welt pocket template, the five eighths of an inch curve rulers, all of her products are really, really awesome. And I've never found one that I didn't think to myself, this is genius. <laughs> so. Okay, next up is a, another membership type of product. This time it includes actual full length cuts of fabric, but it includes a very, very specific kind of fabric that's really unique, you can't really find in the big box stores, and is going to create garments that really stand out. I'm talking about Ankara and lace. So Ankara is an African wax cotton. It is a cotton fabric in bright, vibrant colors, really interesting prints that is treated with a wax coating, making it very structured and create, allowing you to create garments 
with a lot of flair, a lot of pizzazz, a lot of structure. They're always really, really striking. So here's a couple of examples of uh, Ankara fabrics that I've gotten from Ankara and Lace in my subscription box here recently. There's a, a wide variety of fabrics. You do not get to pick which fabric you get in your subscription box, but you do get to fill out a little form talking about the things that you, colors you typically like, patterns you typically like. And so then they can help pick something that they think that you will love. So they actually have a couple different ways that you can do this. The first one is a fabric only subscription. You can buy one yard of fabric. You can, is it one, three or six yard cuts and all you get is fabric and that is it. They also have a sewing subscription and the sewing subscription includes the fabric cuts in three, six or 12 yard cuts. But in addition to the fabric, you also get a sewing pattern. And then in addition to the pattern and the fabric, you also get a couple of notions every month. I've gotten everything from like a magnetic pen holder to seam rippers, basic, basic sewing notions. So depending on where you are in your sewing journey, if you've got a ton of patterns, maybe you don't want the sewing subscription box. If you don't have a ton of patterns or you're not quite sure which patterns work best for Ankara fabrics, get the sewing subscription box. They're gonna send you a pattern that is ideal for Ankara fabric. Okay, next up, we are at our penultimate gift idea. I've actually been wearing this gift idea this entire video. And it is my Sashka and Co bracelets. So this might not be an obvious choice for a gift guide for sewists, but the meaning and the purpose behind the bracelets is why I decided to include it in my gift guide this year. Uh, the Sashka & Co bracelets are all handmade by the women of Nepal. And it every time you purchase one, it benefits them by not giving them a hand out, but a hand up. And that is something that I support in my personal life all the time. Uh, the bracelets are really, really beautiful. These are two of them that I have. They are rose gold and one of them is rose gold and white. Very durable, very easy to slip on and off. Um, they stretch out a little bit, enough to get over your hand. So even if you have a larger hand, I think that you would be fine. But they also have a little um, sizing questionnaire that you can uh, fill out to see which size bracelet you need to ensure you get one that fits really well. I have a fairly small wrist where normally the bracelets are like, especially bangle ones like this that aren't adjustable are so big on me. But this one actually fits pretty well. It only goes up half my forearm instead of <laughs> all of my forearm. So I really, really love that. They're beautiful, they're sparkly. They're great with my little holiday dress that I'm wearing today. And like I said, they are for a good cause head to their website to check out all the different styles and colors. I promise you, you will find something that you love there and it will feel good to support those women and support the cause of this really great company. Okay, we have made it to the very end of my 2019 holiday gift guide for Sois. My very, very last product is something that's brand new to the market, something that's only been out for like a month or two, and that is the Infusible Ink by Cricut. This is magical. <laughs> so the Infusible Ink comes in sheets, you either have your cutting machine, your silhouette, your Cricut, whatever it is, cut out a design, or you can cut out a design yourself with scissors or an X-Acto knife or something like that. And then you press the uh, design that you've cut out into any kind of blank, whether it's a t-shirt, a tote bag, a hat. Um, you can put it on just about anything. The powders or I don't know, whatever the material is made from actually after heat evenly, super, super hot heat is applied, infuses into the fibers of the garment. So there is iron on vinyl, but it's like when you run your hand over that, you can feel the edges of the vinyl. It's sitting on top of your garment, your bag, whatever it is. The infusible ink actually goes inside the fabric and it's there permanently forever. 
and becomes part of your fabric. So there are a lot of really great ways that sewists can apply this to their garments. Maybe you want a fun, pretty detail on the hem of a shirt or a dress. You can do a fun little pocket detail. You can create really cute, kishy, you know, sewing themed tote bags. You can do a lot of really, really fun stuff with it. Um, and like I said, it looks super professional and like it was done in a factory or warehouse or something, not in your own home. So that wraps it up. That is my holiday gift guide for the sewist in your life or you, the sewist yourself, depending on who is watching. I, like I said, love, love, love all of these products so much. I use them all the time in my own sewing room, in my own creative process. So I really hope that you will be able to get them added to your list or you'll be able to purchase them for the sewist in your life and really make this holiday season super special. Here's to a blessed and happy holiday season. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye.